Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Passport 238 ML. This is a fantastic lightweight bunkhouse at under 3,900 pounds. This can be towed by a midsize or larger SUV. Let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll make our way back and then head on in. One of the first things you'll notice, this right here, which is our propane tank cover. Nice and easy to access. You have two thumb screws here, just undo those. Then you can lift up the door and get into your two 20 pound tanks. Behind the cover are the rails for your battery box. And then right here coming up along the front is the diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it hits the diamond plating and doesn't scratch up your beautiful front end fiberglass. Also, if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, you'll see right over there is a light which of course will help give you visibility during nighttime. Come around to the side here, we'll open up the pass-through. One thing I do want to point out, you'll see it has a nice covered hinge so you don't have rust coming all down the pass-through storage here. And if you take a look right inside there, you'll see it's nice and finished off. You have the aluminum framing rather than wood, which is great because it's nice and durable, lightweight, and you never have to worry about it rotting out on you. There's also a light tucked away in here, so again, if you need to get in there at night, you can certainly do that. Going back a little bit further, right here's your power awning. Uh, you can see that it extends almost the entire length of the coach. One touch operation, just touch that button, it rolls out. Same thing to go ahead and have it roll back in. Uh, again, just one person can do it. You don't have to sit there and fight with it extremely easy. And then underneath that power awning is an LED light strip. So if you do want lights at night, you don't have to get up there and string up your Christmas lights. Just flip a switch, those LEDs will go ahead and pop on for you. And underneath the LED strip are two outside speakers. Those are great if you want to sit out here and listen to some music. Uh, those are controlled by your multimedia center inside. However, it is Bluetooth capable. That way you can sit out here in your chairs. If you have your smartphone or tablet, you can go ahead and connect to that via Bluetooth and can control your music from that device. Uh, one of the things about Passport is great towability. You can see it has a nice curved front end, low profile, so you only need two steps to go ahead and get into the coach. So you make your way back a little bit further, you'll see right here the axles. These do have uh, easy lube axles on there, which is phenomenal. Uh, that way, you know, again, for maintenance, when you're going forward, just a lot easier maintenance, a lot more cost effective for you. Then tucked right between the tire and the step, if you take a look right there, is a propane quick connect. You'll also notice that's underneath the awning. So if you want a grill, you can go ahead and set your grill right there, plug it into that propane quick connect. Instead of bringing the tiny green bottles, you can just go ahead and feed off the two 20 pounders. Also, if you want to set up like an electric griddle or blender outside, you see right here, pop that open, you have a couple of electrical outlets right there as well. Now as for additional storage, not only do you have the storage up front, that big pass through, but right over here underneath the bunk, you can see you have a secondary storage area. So great outside storage on this coach, especially for being a shorter coach. Come around to the back with me. Right here is a spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's always great peace of mind knowing you have it riding back here with you. Then right here is a storage place for your sewer hose. On the other side of the camper is a outside shower which has both hot and cold access. So if you need to wash off your feet, wash off the dog, whatever it may be, uh, you have access to that. All right, folks, it's pretty much gonna wrap up the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Passport 238 ML. This particular model is in the granite interior. Let's go ahead and start off right over here on the dinette. So one of the things I love about this floor plan is the placement of the dinette. You can see it's nice and large here, so plenty of room for four people to sit and eat a meal, play a game, or drink your morning coffee and really enjoy the view out the window. You can see you have a large window right out to the campsite and that's the view that you want. You don't want to look out at your neighbors the whole time. You want to look at your own campsite. So again, I love having a door side dinette. And if you do need extra sleeping space, this table does drop down and you can go ahead and turn this into an additional bed. If we take a look right up top here, a couple other features that I like. Uh, this is the Jensen Multimedia Center that I talked about when we were outside. Uh, you know, Jensen is top name brand in electronics. They're built specifically for the RV industry to withstand 
withstand the shocks and vibrations from going down the road, as well as the temperature extremes from very hot to very cold. But also, this is a radio CD and DVD player. It is hooked up to the TV, so if you want to watch a movie, all you have to do is pop it right in there, and you can watch it on the TV, which is right over here. This is on a swing arm mount, so if you want to watch it in the kitchen, or you can swing it over to watch it while you're sitting on the couch or TV, which I'll show you a little bit later. Right in between here, you have the tinted glass, great extra storage area there, uh, great spot for pantry in my opinion. You know, you can put some chips and snacks right up there. LED light underneath here as well. You actually have LED lights throughout the coach, which is fantastic, because LEDs don't put out near the heat as your incandescents, and also they use a fraction of the power. With a smaller camper like this, you know, maybe you're going out, you are going somewhere where you don't have shore power, so you're relying on the batteries. You will truly appreciate the LED lights in those situations. Also, uh, right underneath here is an electrical outlet, so if you do need to plug anything in, if you're sitting at the table, need to plug in a laptop or a tablet, you can go ahead and do that as well. Let's go uh, make our way back a little bit further here. What you will notice is right here are your two bunks. Uh, 300 pound limits on here, which are great. So, you know, nice, heavyweight, well built bunks. You have a window both top and bottom, as well as a light on the top and bottom as well. So, if the kids want to read at night, they can go ahead and do so. Then we'll open up the bathroom here so you can take a look. Right down there is the toilet. You can see plenty of legroom all the way around. You have a great cutout uh, in your vanity there, which is awesome. If you want to put a magazine rack there, trash can, whatever it may be. And look how big that countertop is. Huge countertop space, additional storage underneath the sink as well. Then as we move up, we have a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. And over to the side is the tub shower. So if you need to give the kids a bath, you certainly can. Hand wand and then an additional vent up top. Now right outside the bathroom, this is really great too, something that Passport does. Very versatile storage space right here. You can see you have shelving on this side. The shelving is removable, so if you want larger items, you can certainly have that. Then the other side here has hanging wardrobe space, as well as an additional cubby hole right underneath. Now let's move a little bit further, we'll move into the kitchen. This right here is the Medic Fridge Freezer Combo, six cubic foot there. Uh, that one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over for you. What that means is if you're running it off of propane and you plug it into shore power, it will automatically switch over to electric, saving you on your propane gas. As you move a little bit further in here, you can take a look at the countertop. Great countertop space in this 238. You can see you have excellent prep space right here. And then you also have sink top covers, which also help aid in that prep space. So if you're not using the sink, you can go ahead and have these or just take one off, you know, use this basin and then use this for prep space or whatever you want to do. Also bear in mind these sink top covers, you can flip over and use these as cutting boards as they are cutting board quality. And then if you want to wash dishes, uh, you can take both of these off. You can see large bowl on the left here, smaller bowl on the right. Nice high rise faucet there as well, which will help in doing those dishes. Window here, let in a lot of natural light. And again, LED light right there up top. Speaking of up top, we take a look, you'll see this right up here. They have the beautiful raised panel cabinetry, your brush nickel pulls on here. Again, extra pantry space, so you do have good pantry in here. And then microwave right there, fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Right down below is our three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one is high output. Uh, great flame control in the Atwoods as well. Nice and easy to tell right where you're at so you don't burn your food. Then underneath is an oven, so if you want to do any additional baking, you can. If you take a look underneath the oven, you can see large storage space right there. Great for pots and pans, in my opinion. Uh, you know, again, larger items like that. Then as we open this up, you will see the uh, drawers here, which are tucked away. I like they kind of hid them. Beautiful, full extension, ball bearing drawers. They work very, very well. Cut out there underneath. And then, as we round out the kitchen, you can take a look right in here. Beautiful storage space underneath there as well. Plenty of room for all of your cleaning supplies or whatever else you want to put underneath. Then we make our way up to the front. So there's a couple cool things about the front. This one does have the Murphy bed. Um, so if you look on both sides here, we'll go ahead and start on the storage. You'll see the mirrored wardrobes on both sides, hanging rod going across the top for any uh, clothes you want to hang up. You have the storage all across the top there with the tinted glass as well. Shelf right down here with the plug-in. So if you need to charge cell phones or plug in a CPAP machine, you can go ahead and do that too. Now let's talk about the Murphy bed. 
Uh, the reason I love a Murphy bed, especially in something this size, is it gives you a couch. It's hard to fit both a couch and a dinette in a camper this size, but this gives you an extra seating area right here during the day. And then at night, it is nice and easy to make up the bed. So all you have to do, you have both of these on, or one on each side. Uh, I pulled that one just to make it easier for me, but you have this jackknife sofa right here. And if you take a look, look at all the storage underneath. It's not like you're losing any storage with a Murphy bed. You have a ton of storage right there under the jackknife sofa. You just go ahead, put this down. You can tuck these cushions right down like so. That way it's nice and tight for you. And then you undo these. We'll go ahead and lay this part down. Then take our mattress, just pull the mattress like so. And there it is, you have your Murphy bed. Nice and easy to make up, you know, it's just as easy to put away. And it gives you that extra added versatility of having the couch. All right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Keystone Passport 238 ML. This particular model is in the granite interior. If you're looking for a lightweight bunk model with a lot of versatility, a lot of sitting space for the whole family, again, this one is magnificent. It weighs under 3,900 pounds, so you can easily tow it with a midsize SUV. And you have great bunk space there, nice big bathroom in the back. This really is one you wanna come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to go ahead and leave those in the section below. Or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions on the specs of this unit, or if you're looking for the latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.